Munich, August the 3rd, 2010. Prelude to the EH. Kickoff of the Emilia, the first true international electric rally. 25 innovative vehicles at the start, correspondent with the occasion, the blue-blooded starting signal. Patron Count Rudolf von Schulenberg, president of Germany's automobile club AVD, strong partner of the Emilia. Das the most fascinating fact of the Emilia is the variety of the vehicles that participated. I'm hoping that uh, next time some of the big manufacturers will take part with their prototype. The destination, Rovereto in northern Italy, 560 kilometers away. Four daily episodes as well as various special stages. The e-vehicles silently zoom through enchanting landscapes, entirely emission-free. It's a change in thought, a new experience, which we are part of here. This is basically a four-day workshop for everyone involved, from the media to the manufacturers to the drivers as well as the organizers. It's a workshop for all of us, and honestly, no one has ever done that before. The participants have to keep getting their stamps at the checkpoints, or you run the danger of receiving penalties. The team with the lowest overall time will be picking up the winning check of 10,000 euro. We said we do a rally where achieving the maximum speed isn't the focus, but where constancy, reliability and precision count. Important partner of the Emilia, the worldwide operating TÜV Süd AG. Chairman Dr. Axel Stepkin in a Carabag 500E. In this weather there's no danger that the batteries might overheat, but maybe we do. The first stage, Munich Füssen, 119 kilometers, 265 meters difference in altitude. An easy mountain stage to get warmed up, no comparison with the 2000 meter passes which are yet to come. The first charging station, plug it in and off you go. The same electricity that is used in every household. Extremely reasonable, the small Italian Tazari. This is 220 volt and 8 ampere. You usually get 16 ampere, and my car only needs 8 ampere. This is really reasonable with regards to the current consumption. I use about 2 euros only worth of electricity per 100 kilometers. The motivation is high. Nothing can deter the teams from their goal. Not even natural forces or a rear window. We stopped and the door of a building was open and the wind slammed it into the shut. What are you doing to do now? Are you going to continue? Whatever is possible and, and we'll win the rally. Never mind whether we have a window or not. Even if it smashes in the front window or the glass roof, I don't care. The mobile electric throng moves soundlessly in the direction of Füssen. King Ludwig II, known as the monarch who was obsessed with innovations, would have certainly rejoiced. Arrival in Füssen in the early evening, the mobile future quietly whirs into the historic city center. The romantic soul of Bavaria has a heart for e-mobility. Since summer 2010, Füssen rents out electric cars for test drives. The e-mobiles crossed the finish line. The Tesla Energiebau team with the 25-year-old Steven Hoffmann is the day's winner. But when they arrive, they still don't know it. Either we managed the perfect time today or we failed completely. It feels like we were on the spot. If not, that would be a nightmare. We are totally motivated. Tomorrow the Emilia will go on the second stage from Füssen directly to the State Theatre in Innsbruck. E-mobility without borders.